Hi there, my name is Paul Bars. Thank you for taking the time to stop by and watch this very quick video. I'm assuming for the purposes of this video that you're getting a new website built sometime soon, perhaps in the next one to three months. Or maybe you've got a design upgrade in progress and you're looking to freshen up and make things new. Whatever your situation, I have three questions for you. Just three simple questions that I want you to ask your web designer. The first of these questions is this. What happens to the usernames and the passwords to your web properties once the build is complete? Do you have access to your admin areas? If you want to make changes to your email through a cPanel, have you got that username? Have you got that password? What if you want to change hosts? Do you have access to your hosting control panel? Can you make those changes along the way? Or do you have to, by forced choice, go back to your web designer because they hold all the keys, the usernames and the passwords, and they're not giving them to you? Now, you may not think that that can happen, but I've seen it happen dozens and dozens of times over the last 15 or more years where web designers, quote-unquote, take hold of their customers and force them to do everything that they say because the designer keeps and doesn't hand over the usernames and passwords which are the keys to the online business. What a terrible way to be doing business, don't you think? The second question I want you to ask is this. Number two, you need to ask, who is going to be responsible for doing the updates? I mean, if you wanted to change a photograph, if you wanted to update a phone number, maybe put in a new paragraph, do you have that ability? Do you know how? You need to ask them, will they teach you? Will they train you to make those changes? Or once again, are they going to force you to come back to them and keep spending money, spending money, spending money in order to make simple, easy edits and changes to your website? Again, I say, what a poor way, what a shameful way to do business from a web designer's point of view. Here's my philosophy. It's your business. It's your website. If you want to be able to do these things and you're willing to learn, you should have that opportunity, which is why I provide training to all of my clients to help them learn should they wish. Well, the third question, the final question that you need to ask is probably the most important of all. You need to ask your web designer, what do I have to do to be successful? How do I make my website work? and then listen carefully to their answers. They could give you a whole myriad of answers, and chances are every single one of those answers will require more time and more money on your behalf to get things running. I'm going to give you my best tip right now, something you can do. It takes just 15 minutes each month to evaluate and then decide where to go from there. I want you to look at your Google Analytics. Yes, I'm assuming you have analytics, and if you haven't, you will have them then for next month. But I want you to look at your analytics. And I want you to have a look at the top three referring traffic sources to your website. Now, this is what I call the power of three. You need to look at those top three referring sources. Could be search engines, could be one of the social media areas, could be YouTube, could be another website, might even be your newsletter. But you need to look at those three and then have a look and see what are your top three landing pages. Where does this traffic come from? Then where does it go on your website? By doing that, we get to immediately eliminate one of the major problems that most small business owners suffer when it comes to website traffic. They're getting the wrong kind of traffic, or they're going to the wrong place. You see, when you begin to understand where your traffic is coming from, you can go to those places. You can look at them and go, hmm... I'm getting a lot of traffic through search, so you would dig into your search. I'm getting a lot of traffic from this kind of search. And you have a look in the search engines, and you see how your website is represented. You'd look at your meta title. You'd look at the meta description, see whether it's attracting the right client for you. If it is, then you need to look at the page that they're landing on. Is it the home page? Is it one of your deeper pages? Is it a blog post? and evaluate of those top pages. Do they have a call to action? Is there some thing that draws the customer in that little bit further? 
Three by three by three. What's the final three? You need to look at your exit pages. And you need to look and see why people are leaving at that point. It's a very simple thing that you can do in just 15 minutes every single month. Look at where your traffic is coming from and go to that place and say, how can I improve on it? Look where that traffic is landing and go to those pages or posts and say, how can I improve it? Then you need to look at where is that traffic leaving from and look at those pages and ask, how can I improve it? That is the most powerful success strategy you can apply when it comes to your online internet business. And here's the thing. It all begins with a well-crafted, well-designed website. Have you noticed? I haven't even talked about how good it looks yet. Well, of course, it's got to look good, no doubt. But a good-looking website isn't a website necessarily that sells. Here's the final thing. People come to your website because they're looking to a solution to a problem. They're looking for you to meet one of their needs. They're looking to either avoid some kind of pain or acquire some kind of pleasure. What's the product? What's the service that you provide? Can you provide that to them within one click? Just one simple click. They arrive on your website. They should be no more than one click away from finding their answer. That's the goal. And when I work with people... When I sit down in a pre-designed consultation, we go through each of these things to work out what it is that our customers, your customers, are looking for. What is it that they want? How can we deliver that? Therein lies the magic. Therein lies success online. Not by doing what we want, but by doing what our customers want. So if you're here in Australia, I'd love to talk with you, either by phone, by Skype, or perhaps in person. Yes, we'll sit down, we'll have a coffee, we'll design a strategy for your website, and then put the pieces of that puzzle together to create for you an online internet business that supports your business, that grows your business, that converts browsers into buyers. Thank you very much. I hope you'll contact me now just through that form below. I'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.